from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 471 for Thursday, December 29th, 2022. This week we have me, Lisa, and we have Brian together. This is pretty exciting. It is pretty exciting. I don't know what to do. Yes. I'm apparently on the wrong side. But that's okay. You're on the correct side. No. Go ahead. Uh, we also have <laughs> two contest winners, a new contest, and some other stuff you are sure to find fascinating. We hope. Yes. Hey, Lisa. Oh, God. <laughs> did, did you know Did you know when I was a kid um, that uh, we used to have a quicksand box in the, the backyard? No. Yeah, I was an only child, eventually. <laughs> Uh, As promised over and over again by Eric, uh, we are here for this podcast together for the first time since uh, podcast 407, which I believe was September 9th of 2021, because all of you helped us reach our year-end goal of 10,000 subscribers to our YouTube channel. Thank you so very much. Hi. Hi. PDA on APTV. There you go. Um, So it's nice to be home. It's very weird. I'm very rusty. So, just be gentle as you guide me through this. Uh, What did you get for Christmas? Did you have a good Christmas? I had an amazing Christmas. I had a uh, very uneventful trip up from Chicago, and then um, some really nice time at home with um, our son and Brian. Uh, Eric came over for a bit. Our daughter could not make it. Um, And I got an Apple Watch that I don't know how to use. So Um, if it goes off in the middle of this... (laughs) That's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really good with tech that I know how to use, and new tech is always um, a learning curve. So yes. you're on IT duty uh, for the next couple weeks. Great. I know. Great. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, I got a cashmere sweater. And? And uh, a new bike computer and some chocolates and yes, all sorts of fun stuff. Yes, we got stuff. all sorts of good stuff. So yeah. it was really good. Yeah, it was fun. And it was nice to sleep in. Um yeah, it was really nice. See the cats, all that the stuff? The cats even paid attention to me, so I feel validated. <laughs> all right, this is our uh, this is our last... <laughs> that one might have made it on the, the soundtrack. Uh, this is our last podcast of 2022. A huge thanks to all of you, uh, our customers, and our customers for a great year. Uh, we finalized some changes to the website. Uh, we're finalizing some uh, coming soon. And, yes. uh, we're also planning more changes both, uh, at the website and with, uh, our brick and mortar stores in 2023. Yes. Um, in fact, we just signed paperwork we today. We just did. Yeah. Uh, I had that listed on later, but we might as well talk about okay. it right now. Uh, um, the Appleton store will be moving sometime over the summer, summer of 2023. 2023. Next year. Yeah. We are super excited. So New space, uh, bigger, much, much bigger. Uh, a parking lot, which will be free. Uh, will be free, which will Super be super excited. Great for everybody involved, uh, customers and and staff else, alike, yeah. uh, alike. So, um, but uh, a, a nice place, and um, so yeah. we'll 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 clue you in more on that when as things get rolling. But uh, they are starting to build the space now. Yes. Uh, yeah. For the store, so it's so very it'll be fun. exciting. Now we're gonna move on to today's location bump. Okay. This is all you. This is all me because I got to choose it. P.F. Chang. I don't understand. Why do you get to choose? I never get to choose. They tell me about it. That I'm a guest. Oh. Okay. Uh, so P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's is an Asian restaurant concept founded on making food from scratch every day in every restaurant. I didn't know that. Hmm. Um, the first P.F. Chang's restaurant opened in 1993 in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today, P.F. Chang's has over 300 restaurants in 22 countries across across the globe, including, of course, the U.S. Uh, P.F. Chang's in Appleton opened in June of 2019. Hmm. I didn't realize it was that yes. recent. Yes, yes. Okay. And we went pre-COVID, and then um, we've been a couple times hmm. during COVID. And then, not yet a location bumper, but... Eric is super excited about this. Downtown Appleton is getting a brand new Starbucks. Uh, across the street and just two blocks down that way, uh, the new store to, is open um, due to open any day now. Eric and I actually stopped in 
They were doing some training. Training, okay. And uh, it's nice. It's really nice. Well, training means they're within a couple of weeks. Yes. I yes. Would say. It was supposed to be on January, uh, December 23rd. Uh, but um, it got delayed for some reason, but okay. it looks really beautiful. Good, good. And the app will work and rewards. Oh, okay. Super. Eric's very, very excited. Eric's excited. All right. Yeah. We'll probably never see him on the podcast again. Never. Tomorrow, Friday, December 30th, is, of course, Bacon Day. Nice. Where does Eric come up with this stuff? Yeah, in 2020, over half of the U.S. population said they used a pound or more bacon that year. So tomorrow, eat a pound of bacon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, where does he come up with this stuff? That's twice we made him up. All right. Uh, and Saturday, of course, is New Year's Eve, and this Sunday is 2023. I cannot believe it's 2023 already. Yeah, we had the big Y2 scare. We blinked, and now it's 2023. Do you remember Y2K? I do and all remember the, Everybody Y2K. thought the computers were going to die yep, and yep. crash, uh, and everybody was like, yeah, waiting. It came up as a big <laughs> uh, So celebrate the new year. Uh, your favorite way, but please stay safe out there. Yep. Designated driver and all that yes. good stuff. What are you going to do? Uh, I am going to have uh, my standard Lisa's Not Here dinner, uh, <laughs> which very well may be at my favorite Garden View restaurant down the street. Uh, they make a heck of a uh, barbecue uh, rib uh, platter. meal, platter. Yeah, it's okay. great. Uh, it's better than the world-famous ribs at Miller's Pub, yeah, which are terrible. Um, <laughs> Sorry. But their chicken pot pie is The chicken pot pie is great. But, you know, you don't call something world famous and then I have it like seven times and it's terrible every time. Maybe you should have learned after so, about the fourth. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to have... What okay. about you? What are you doing? I probably will get sushi from Rio Sushi, my oh. favorite sushi place right there. Hmm? And um, that's it. Yeah, that's right behind the apartment. Yes. On the way home. So, great. So, we have some, uh, some news. Price increases January 1st. We've mentioned these the last couple of podcasts, but we're just going to recap them here. And there's one more that's not on there. We uh, were just we emailed were? about, yes. We were? I don't check my email, so <laughs> apparently. Um, pilot? Correct. Uh, most everything across the line. Platinum, I don't remember what's going up there. Most of everything. Uh, Diplomat, there's some price increases. Uh, Execlair. Uh, Schmidt refills. And Execlair is Rhodia, yes. Clairefontaine, and the Exacompta, um Index cards. Okay. Uh, the Lamy 2000 uh, is going up in price. We've mentioned that. And um, we did get an email just the other day about Cross is also raising prices oh, okay. across the board. Okay. So, so those are uh, that's going up uh, January 1st. So if there's anything that you're interested in, Lamy 2000s, we just got a, a big, big stock of those yeah. in. So if you're if you wanted one of those, uh, we have them. We also have them in. The unusual, more unusual nib sizes, the oblique medium, oblique broad, and oblique double broad. So, uh, and those are the same price as the regular regular nibs. So, Which if that's something you were looking at, and I used to have the oblique double broad. It was a super cool nib. Uh, but anyway, but the, those the are in stock. Average increase is going to be between 17 and 20%. So, it's a big jump. So, if you're thinking about it, I would absolutely mm -hmm. do it before... Uh, we have to raise the prices on January 1st. Yeah. And, and Pilot, Pilot hasn't really raised prices much over the, the last several years. Uh, no. You've got some metropolitan increases. Right. Uh, vanishing points went up like six bucks or something like that. A but while back. It, 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 it hasn't is, been much. So um, This is a big jump for a lot of companies. So there it is. Uh, Hobonichi News. Yes. Uh, all dated material is uh, still 20% off and there's not much left. So uh, I think we've got, uh, we've got some weeks left. Uh, maybe some A6, all the A6 tachos may be out of, uh, maybe sold off by the time this airs. Uh, but there's not much left, but it's 20% off. We do have covers are still 20% yes. off. Yes, some of those uh, are really cool. Those are nice ones, yeah. And yeah. you know, I use one of the week's zippered covers as my wallet. And um, it's really, it works perfectly. And the funny thing was, I shouldn't, I sent yes, you that you picture, sent me a right? picture, yep. I had a customer who came to the Chicago store and she took out her wallet to take out an index card or something. And it was the same thing that I had. And you have the Liberty Fabrics. I have the Liberty Fabrics Zipper Weeks cover from a couple years ago. And I looked at it like, that can't be. So I ran and got my wallet and I mm. took a picture and sent it to Brian and Eric and the of the two wallets together. So that was just really, I'd never seen anybody else do that before, <laughs> but it's really, it works perfectly. So, so. Uh, so that's Hobonichi news. Uh, also, coming up this Friday, uh, this month's uh, December Vintage Mailer, 
And I did bring a few uh, select pieces here that we show off real quickly on the uh, on the show. So I brought, I brought a couple uh, of vintage pens for this Friday's vintage mailer, okay. just to show off. These are some of the special ones that I, I anticipate are probably not gonna last very long. Um, the first one I brought just because I, I love this pen. Uh, I'm you take, can't have it. I, well, I, I have had it for about 10 years. Uh, this pen, uh, I don't remember when we got it, but uh, I, I, this, this pen has taken about 10 years to, to restore, uh, only because it needed a clip. I bought the clip at uh, a pen show, and I promptly, on the way home, lost the clip for about five, six, seven years. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I actually found the clip and I immediately went and grabbed, found the pen and I put it all together. And so here it is. Uh, and what am I talking about? This is a Parker uh, Streamlined Senior Dual Fold in black. Okay. Um, really, really a lovely pen, nice, large um, dual fold. It's really great, it's really. Go ahead. So this. I have two problems with that. What's that? How do you lose a clip for like seven years? Well, a clip is a small piece. It's usually <laughs> in a it? bag. It was in a bag with a broken cap in, oddly enough, the Parker box. Okay. I don't know how it made it there and I didn't. And are you feeling okay? Because you always know where I you usually, got X, Y, and Z. I usually know, yeah. Wow. I, I lost it I, because it was, well, anyway. Anyway, here it is. Now you can buy it. Uh, is a, a, a senior uh, streamlined dual fold black plastic. Uh, I've also got a, uh, a lovely, lovely uh, Mont Blanc. Uh, this is a cartridge pen, but I love the ones that don't look like your yes. typical Mont Blanc. Well, look at that nib oh, look on at there. The nib. Oh my God! It's huge. It's you like a double broad. Space. Um, a double broad nib on this Mont Blanc. That's a big ass. Really, nib. really great. That's beautiful. Really great nib. Um, I also cool. have uh, this one here. Is a, it was a cool find that I picked up in uh, in Columbus. It looks on the outside. It looks like a plain Parker Forty Five in black. Yes, yes it does. Uh, but there's like some wording on here. Can you read what that says? See what that says there. It starts with a D. A demonstrator. Ends with demonstrator. Um, so this is actually a salesman's demonstrator, not a oh, it's transparent not, yeah, demonstrator. I was going to say it's not clear. <laughs> yeah, so it's not clear, but it's what, what a salesman would have gone. He'd have, he'd have come to our store and said, listen, we've got this new right. thing called the Parker 45. Let me let me show it to you. And here that's it is. Cool. Uh, and it's, you know, marked and filled in. It's a demonstrator. That's cool. Um, I've got a, a, a lovely, uh, if you like dual folds, here's a dual fold junior that's in cool. orange. I love these juniors. They're great size. This is the earlier flat top model. Gold nib. It's a perfect size for you. So I could buy it. You, you, it could be yours. And is that what kind of feed is that? That That's is. A uh, tree? This is the. Uh, this is the Christmas tree feed. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Uh, three, three more really good ones. Done. <laughs> three more really good ones. I'll show you, and then we can move on to the rest of the, the rest of the show. Uh, lovely. Look at this. Lovely jade, Schaefer. Uh, slender Schaefer lever filler. Uh, I, I bought this one in, also in Ohio, but I bought it because it had a very unusual name on it that just makes me laugh. Um, it makes me smile. The name on here is a Lynn Turnip Seed. Uh, so uh, <laughs> very, very unusual name. I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Well, um, and I do love the color. You know, so many jade pens of this time are are badly discolored, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this one. Yeah, uh, this has got a little bit of it going on in the bro, but it's not bad. And this is this is that lighter jade, not that bright jade. Yeah. Uh, but it's a, it's a full size slender, and actually it posts really a really nice length. But it's a it's a nice uh, a nice shaper. Three twenty five, I think is what it is. Uh, is the uh, the model number. Um, next up, I've got a uh, a Waterman, and these always go go fast. Lovely striped gray uh, with blue stripes, actually, Waterman. What model is that? I don't know. This is like a, is this a 512 or a 513 or something? It's not uh, a thoroughbred. Uh, it's not a thoroughbred because those are usually oh, marked yeah. on the back. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a cool. lovely pen. Uh, it has a lovely flexible nib on it. Uh, it does come with a matching pencil that is not functional, so you just get the pencil basically for free, but lovely this is, pen. This is really cool. It's, and it's I think this really... Is, um, a light gray, light and gray, uh, light and dark gray, um, kind of marble, marble with yeah. depth. But then it's got like these blue stripes. Navy, like yeah, navy like blue. Navy blue. This is really. And cool. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this one is uh, Canadian. Uh, Canadian, yes. Yeah. So what that means is, uh, for most in the pen, vintage pen world, Canadian pens from uh, Parker and Waterman typically do have somewhat more flexible nibs to it. And this one is is lovely. 
Uh, you've said every, you've said lovely for every single one of these. Uh, well. How about delightful? This one here is delightful. <laughs> this is this is the oddball uh, in the uh, in the party, and I, I actually found this in my basement one day. Uh, and I'll see if you know what that is. See, it bothers me that we still have all these pens in the basement. Oh, what the heck is that? So this is a this is a Weedlick uh, Weedlick and Simpson uh, uh, stylograph, uh, and, and it's a lever filler. Yep. So it fills with fountain pen ink, and then there's a weight and a, and a, a very tiny uh, metal uh, stylo in here. And then when you, when you hit the paper, it moves the weight back, which causes the ink to flow. When you pick it up off the page, the weight drops down, causing ink to stop. How funky. Um, but it's a weed lick, which is very rare. And you're a fan of weed licks. I'm, I'm a fan of early weed licks, overlays. I'm surprised you're not keeping this. Uh, well, it's not an early weed lick. I, I like the overlays and the gold hard rubber. Okay. Um, but weed lick was a Cincinnati company. Lovely, uh, delightful. Uh, <laughs> It is though. Look at this. This it's red really marble. Pretty, it's yeah. it's very lovely, um, and, and it's really in excellent condition. It's very fun to write with. A little bit different. You do have, kind of have to write a little bit uh, at a more of a more perpendicular, more perpendicular like this. You can you can get it at a little bit of an angle too, but. Um, Ooh, so it's a beautiful pen with a learning curve. It's a beautiful pen with a learning curve, and so there's this and like 50 more pens. I've got lots of snorkels. I've got snorkels with 14 karat autograph bands. Uh, I have uh, some 51 vax. I have. All sorts of stuff. I have boxed pens. I have actually a whole container of boxed, some of them new old stock snorkels with tags, with cellophane, everything. Have we made any room in the basement? Have we made any progress in the basement? Next page. <laughs> we skipped over the, uh, we, skip well, I guess over, we, we, we didn't, we didn't skip over anything. We talked about that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're making some headway in the basement, so. Okay. So. Can right. I get so, that in writing? Yes, so uh, okay. that's all coming on on Friday, uh, about nine o'clock. Uh, astute folks will understand that I do sometimes put them out a little bit earlier uh, before the mailer gets sent out. So uh, if you're looking, uh, these are also available as they have been the last several months uh, available in the store. In Appleton. Uh, in Appleton right now. So if you're interested, you want to check them out, come on in, just ask. Uh, most of them are in the case. Some of them I have, the, the box sets are behind the counter. But, yes. Uh, they're available for uh, local folks right now. We've got some special closure days. We do, and I'm really excited about this. Um, <laughs> since I'm in Chicago seven days a week, I'm excited when we're closed for even an hour. Um, <laughs> Appleton uh, will be closed on um, Sunday, as always, for New Year's Day. And then we will be closed in Appleton on Monday, the second for um, celebrating of the New Year's celebrating Day. Celebrating of New Year's Day? Yes. Okay. I, I'm, um, I'm going to celebrate on Sunday. but Well, you are. Yeah. And then in Chicago, uh, we will be closed on Sunday as well for New Year's Day. And also on Monday. Um, I get two days off. I'm super excited. And the following week, Chicago <laughs> will be closed from... Uh, Sunday, January 8th through Friday the 13th. Oh, that's a long time. Because Brian and I are going on vacation and I, we I are won't going... Believe it. I won't believe it till I'm on the plane. You'll believe it once we get up at the crack of dawn and get on the blue line to go to the airport. Okay. But right. uh, we are going to Florida to visit my mom and my brother. And I am super excited. It's supposed to be, be like fun. in the 80s. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Be good to see your mom. And then regular hours in Chicago will resume on Saturday the 14th. Awesome. I know. Uh, and don't forget to guess the pen. Guess in my the pocket. pen in Brian's pocket. This is an easy one this week. It is. And we'll do that. At Even the end. I know what that We'll is. do that at the end of the podcast. All right. Did you hear about the guy who started fixing breakfast at midnight on December 31st? He wanted to make a New Year's toast. Uh, this just in. <laughs> we have <laughs> this just in yeah, behind the camera right here. Um, we have. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep moving here. Uh, Auto Hut. Yes. Um, which we've had in Chicago for a while, but we we brought it in here over the Christmas uh, holiday. Um, just because you're so competitive. <laughs> I like these. I, I think these they're, are great. they're they're stunning. They're different. Uh, we've got quite a few. Uh, different designs. I prefer the Design 04, the Design 04. Um, yes. It's a really lovely pen. Um, it's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> look at this. I mean, look at this. How great is this? This so is the, the this Black is Wave. This the Black Wave with the rose gold cap and rose gold accessories. 
in the oh. wave. The wave is like really so sort of like chaotic. It's not. It's. Yeah, it's not really a wave. It's more. Yes. Triangular. It's lovely. Um. Yeah, it's just lovely. Uh, ballpoint and rollerball. We're yeah. not doing fountain pens on any of these. It's just yeah. ballpoint and rollerball. These have a really nice weight. It's a lacquer over brass. Mm -hmm. um, just a, a nice weight. It's a good size in the hand, but it's certainly not fat. I find it to be very comfortable. Uh, the rollerball does post. It is a screw cap too. It's a screw which cap for me rollerball. Yeah. Is a deal breaker if that's it not won't bad. Post. That's not bad. That's not bad. Maybe a yeah. little smidge long, but if you yeah. got a big hand, that's not too bad. And if you hold it back, that's, yeah. um, you got some place to put it anyway. So you've got the black with the rose gold wave. There is a white wave, and I know nobody can see this, but I like well, it. Well, Justin's got uh, some yeah. pictures. Uh, the white wave with the rose gold. That's really There is great. a um, just a solid black with rose gold. Classic, yeah. Very, very classic. And they classic. twist on the top. It is, yeah, it is, is nice. a nice mechanism. Um, and then the cornflower blue is new with mm. uh, kind of a gunmetal trim, which is really pretty. That's nice. And then mm. a sage, sage green. Sage, I like this. Really this is soft really, really, color. Really, really very great. pretty. I like it. It's just such a, it's an interesting color. Yeah. You know, there's no other pens that are that color. Really. And then there is a matte black guilloche with, matte, with uh, shiny black trim. And then there is that also a little texture to it. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot, not oh, enough yeah. to dig into your hand. No, but it's enough to it's not to your not hand's not going to slip. Yeah, yeah not yeah. be slippery. Yeah. And then there is also a I matte like navy blue with shiny navy navy black okay, trim yeah, yeah. that I have. Uh, I ordered I everything, I know. and I didn't get everything, so did. there is more coming. But these these have been on the website for a while, but now yes. we have them here in Appleton, so you want to come down nice. and take a look at them. Um, I, I think the the ball points and the roller balls are, are very are, they're in that good. Um, Kind of that affordable gift territory, yeah, these are similar to a, maybe even a, less than a, a DuPont uh, mm -hmm. D initial. Uh, they look very similar, actually. Nice weight. And since they are a lacquer over brass, um, if you wanted, you could take them to a, a jeweler or a trophy shop. You could even could have them, them engraved. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I or, really like the cornflower. The, the sage is great. I like that. Okay. So. We could swap Wait, out whatever you got for Christmas. Yeah, for, no, that's okay. That's no? okay. So uh, anyway, so there's uh, the, the D04 Auto Huts. Um, really great. Uh, and there will be more coming in uh, yes. as, as time permits. We're super excited about those. We also got in new, speaking of DuPont. The um, DuPont has redesigned the uh, Defi line. And I think it's really cool. The... Old one had kind of a skeleton on the mm -hmm, outside. Mm -hmm. It had an, a little frame on two sides of the pen, uh, which was very interesting. But it, they never had a fountain pen. Well, no. they haven't had a they haven't had a defeat fountain pen in, in a long time. Right. They've had two different kinds that they've discontinued. Right. Um, but it wasn't available in a fountain. Pen. So they've redesigned everything about it, and now they have. Uh, a pen that's similar to the D initial. The um, sleek, it's streamlined. It's very sleek, yes. Looks like a rocket. The nose cone is very elongated, but it has some grooves to it, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, that'll um, give you a little grip. A very angled top. And um, this, cl this clip, though, is great. I mean, look at how long it is, and it's got yeah. such a nice travel to it. I like that. Uh, yeah. You twist the nose cone as opposed to the top on the D and on the um, Auto Cut Design 4. You twist the top on the Defees, the new Defee Millennium. Mm -hmm. You twist the nose That's cone. Uh, these yeah. are a matte lacquer, so it's not well. That one shiny. Is. That this one, one is. is. It's yeah. not shiny, shiny, but it's also not textured. So that's a very interesting finish. The most exciting part, though, is this guy. Yeah. What is so that? this is the new fountain pen. It also um, comes in a roller ball. It does come in a roller ball. Uh, the fountain pen is very unique. It's funky. Um, right now, it's not uh, lovely. It's, uh, funky. it's it's cool. Uh, it's funky. It has this metal hooded nib that goes all the way around. So it's very similar to uh, uh, Parker Fifty One, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, it comes in uh, it comes in medium nib, uh, magnetic cap though. That's just really yeah, little really bit nice. of a step, but it's just such a really really cool design. Yeah, tapered on the end here, just like and it on does the, post. Uh, um, yeah. Decent size in the hand. It's definitely not too big, not too heavy. So it's really great. So we have those available as well. Um, and they also do come in a roller ball. This one is cool. Matte black matte with the gunmetal trim. Oh, yeah. Nice. And so this one has that matte finish with shiny trim, mm -hmm, which is really mm -hmm. nice. Gunmetal. Yeah, this yeah. looks great. Yeah. D is really dark too. 
So uh, th those are new. Um, they've been doing very well. They have. So it's something something it's, new and different. Uh, and, um, but still a classic shape. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the fountain pen is definitely interesting. And, and the roller ball has that same similar shape. Yeah. It's just together on both sides. But they're, you know, the great That's thing is, is they've, they've kept the prices on these. Really reasonable. Really, I, I, I mean, I had to look a couple times that I wasn't, the price that we had listed wasn't actually like cost, you know, because you would think that right. something like this would be very, very, I mean, it's it's not inexpensive, uh, but it's, it's you really look at the price, you go, price. well, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, it's it's not, exactly. not terrible. So uh, that is it for the fee. The Defi Millennium. Millennium. My New Year's resolution was to read more. So I put subtitles on the TV. All right, we've got a couple of contests. So um, that we, oh we, need, we need to go through. You're going to win an uh, all-expense-paid trip to Chicago. Free apartment. All the pens you can sell. sell. <laughs> um, okay, from Podcast 469. So before Christmas, we, we, had, we did actually two kind of in a row. So we didn't actually have the results from the podcast until... Well, no. Who's in charge of that? Uh, Eric. Okay. Uh, so 469, we asked, name a good winter ink. Uh, and there were so many suggestions. Um, Kin Mokuse. Uh, is that a winter? That's not a winter ink. I use it year round. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Diamine Earl Grey, Her Urban uh, Kayanite to Nepal. That's a great one. Sailor Yuki Akari, uh, Manyo Haha, yep. among many, many others. The one ink that percolated to the top. Having been mentioned in five comments, a Roshizuku Fuyo Shyoga, uh, which is a gray that conjures an image of the cold, clear air of winter. Okay. How's that sound? I still like Kin Mokuse. Kin Mokuse, okay. Uh, we got some comments. Marilyn Gardner, my yeah. vote for a... You want to read that? Am I, I reading that? Do. You want to read the that? The one, the only... Hey, Marilyn. Um, <laughs> Marilyn Gardner says, my vote for a winter ink would be Pilot Oroshizuku Fuyu Shogun, which I believe translates to Old Man in Winter. Old Man in Winter. Yes, yes. indeed. Ah! Hey, it's like Old Friend Week. It is. Steve Moss. Hey, Steve and Sherry. <laughs> uh, a good winter ink is an ink that looks forward to spring. Oh, that's, nice. a, that's a nice way to that's put it. That's a good it. idea. Yep, yep. So I'd go with one of my favorite greens, Monteverdi Yosemite Perfect. Green. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dan F., uh, for a nice winter ink, I'm sure Eric would agree <laughs> with Sailor U.S. 50 states, Alaska, a very nice cold blue. It probably got in here because he mentioned Eric. Ah, yes. Uh, so we have a winner. <laughs> uh, we have a winner this week, uh, Christopher Maloche. Uh, and uh, Christopher's comment, oh, this one is easy. Diamond Winter Miracle from the 2019 Inkvent calendar. Dark purple with shimmer and sheen is like stars reflected off a frozen lank in the Midwest during the darkest part of the year. Even those of you who don't like winter could appreciate that. Nice. Uh, congratulations, Christopher. Uh, please write to eric at andersonpens.com and he will get the $20 credit onto your Anderson Pens account. But wait, there's more. More is in yet another contest winner. So, contest from podcast 470 is name your favorite Christmas movie. More than 24 wow. different movies were mentioned in the comments. Justin, did you chime in? <sighs> that's, Hurry up. That's a lot of movies. All right, so that's a lot of movies. Third most popular, Die Hard. Can I, can I make a confession? I've never actually seen that movie. Really? With I've Bruce never, Willis? I've never seen Die Hard. <laughs> I know people say it's, it, it is the Christmas movie, but yeah. Why is it a Christmas movie? It, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. I, I just don't think of Bruce Willis. Why, why are you asking me that? I've never seen it. How would I know? <laughs> it takes place during Christmas. I know, but I just off. don't think of guns blazing and Nakatomi blood and Nakatomi Plaza or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, second most popular was a tie between White Christmas and National oh, Lampoon's wow, Christmas Vacation. Wow, that's like kind of both ends of the spectrum there, isn't it? Very much. And the most popular is, uh, the most popular Christmas movie is a Christmas story. Oh, lovely. What would yours be? Uh, mine, probably, I'm, I'm kind of old school. And actually, the other day I watched it, um, the Charlie Brown Christmas special. Yeah. Uh, it's right now, it's it's on uh, Apple TV Plus for free. Nice. So. Okay. And it's we, actually shorter than I remembered it. Because it was like 24 minutes or something. Yeah. I was like, really? That's all well, it is? Well, when you're a kid, when you're a kid it you got commercials. really old. And, yeah. yeah. I'm really long. Um, we're, we like to watch Elf. Well, yeah, we haven't watched and, it. Yeah. 
You like bad Santa. No, yeah, bad Santa. Naughty Santa, bad Santa. What is it? Bad, bad Santa. Santa. Yeah, okay. I think I called it Naughty Santa last you did, week. You did, because it's very naughty. Okay. Um, um, all right. And so the winner is BD. Uh, she, uh, they commented, uh, White Christmas. Maybe for 20,000 subscribers, Brian and Eric could recreate Big Crosby and Danny Kaye's sister's okay. duet. Please? Uh, nice. Well, I, well, let's not count that out. All right. So we need I Justin. Sing. Write I this sing. down. Hire a choreographer. Nice. Uh, we have some additional comments. <laughs> uh, Kevin Butler says, A Christmas Story is my favorite, but I, I always worry I'll shoot my eye out. Um, Spooky Goop. That's a great name, by the way. Uh, these jokes, oh my goodness, they're physically painful. Yes. Keep them coming. <laughs> Mr. Cat says, okay. Merry Christmas, Anderson Pens. I treated myself to a present and ordered a pilot vanishing point from you today. Those are great, awesome pens. So excited to join the Vanishing Point Club. I got the blue carbonesque in fine. That's nice. It's really That's one of the great best. Color. I, I'm, I'm, I've always been shocked that that pattern doesn't necessitate a higher price. It's the same price as all the other. Don't tell anybody. It's a, it's a cool. The blue is really cool. It's I love gorgeous. that one. I have one. I have one too. So yes. good. All right. uh, we did have another comment. Uh, I don't know why it didn't make it on our little sheet here, but uh, Eric told me to to, to address this. Uh, someone did write in and ask, "Will so we just got in some new uh, cross converters and cross." I uh, used to have an 8751 and an 8756, they one threaded and one and not. one not. And um, so they have retooled the converter to um, eliminate the threaded and just have the non-threaded. And according to Cross, the new, which they're using the same number, which is confusing. Yes. Uh, the new non-threaded, which is the same, will fit all current Cross pens. fountain pen models. Yes. And someone had written in and asked if the cross converter will fit the cross Bailey. The Bailey, so I've got a Bailey here. And yes, indeed, this guy, which has a threaded insert in there. Yes. Uh, and this just slides in. Well, they haven't been able, of course, to retool all the pens. And there you go. And so they, I don't know what they've done differently, um, but the... Yeah, the new non-threaded, and it is the only one available. It is you the cannot, only converter. You can't get the threaded anymore. Cannot get the other one anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we waited months to get this. Yes, in. yeah. So we, we finally have these in stock, yes. which is nice. Uh, I'm going to grab an extra one for myself because. What do you have? Uh, I've got a Cross Peerless. Oh, that's right. And. Uh, oh, speaking of so, Cross Peerless, Cross Peerless in Chicago. So a lot oh, of. Oh, you didn't bring those. You're to bring those. It was going to be my Christmas present. You got one. Well, you said I could trade if I wanted to. Yeah. Well, you were going to... Anyway. Uh, so anyway, in Chicago, I do have one Cross Peerless um, black with platinum trim fountain pen, and I have one drop-dead gorgeous mm. Cross Peerless oh, yeah. quartz blue roller ball. Oh, we didn't have a matching yes. nib. That's it's why I couldn't use it. Gorgeous. That quartz blue is good. It's it gorgeous. is really yeah. sexy. Um, yes. So there you go. Yeah, and so those... Yeah, those are... Call Lisa. Yeah. She's yeah. got them. I do. Um they, they just don't, there's no, there's no peerless really at all anymore. So what we have is, yes. if you've always wanted that pen, it's a great pen. Yeah, it I've is. I've got it's the, I've got the fountain. Good I weight, love it. Yep. it posts, it's really. And you good. said, you said black fountain? Black with um, platinum okay. fountain pen in extra fine. And they use sailor, sailor nibs. nibs. They are sailor nibs. Yes. If, you, if you're familiar with, with, with sailor, the, the top of the sailor nib is genuinely fairly flat. Uh, it's got a it's distinctive Absolutely. curve to it. And, and that, of course, that's what these look like, but it's an sailor extra fine, essentially. Yes. So it's very fine. All right. And so we have a new contest and survey uh, that came about because Eric has an issue. <laughs> yes, he does. Just one. Yes. He, yeah, just one. Just he one. And we talked about this at breakfast yesterday. Did you? Yeah. He has not one, not two, not three or four, but five. I don't know why you need planners five. for 2023. Five, one, two, three. I mean, I could five. see like two. Maybe you got different. But what do you? Well, he, I mean, how many desks do you Madrid have? Madrid, and and so he has two Hobonichi Techos in the A6, two Hobonichi cousins, two cousins, and when he was in Spain, he found an A plus, an A4 plus Loic Term Daily Planner. And that one you said is not doesn't. Come to the U.S. or no, is that available in the U.S. or something? No, I think that was a different notebook oh, that different he went notebook. and got okay, in Spain okay. that they do not export. So okay. he bought one okay. and then he had to go buy four more notebooks. Hey, four plus. I know. That's huge. That so thing is question, like this big. It is. So the question Eric has for all of you, because I only have one, uh, is how many planners do you oh, have goodness. for 2023? And then I'm going to personally add, and if it's more than two, 
Explain to me why. What are you doing with them? Tell me why. I'm I'm actually, well, we, we've, like I said, we, we said earlier, we pretty much sold out of most of the Hovenichi. Yeah, what are you going to uh, do? I, I, I didn't actually pick one out yet, uh, but I'm, I'm looking at the weekly. We had some weeklies left. The we, little weekly yeah, planner? Yeah, I know what a weekly is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I thought that would be... <laughs> But how many Techo covers do you have that do not have a no- Well, they all have Quite, Techos in them. Well, not current year. Well, I could just you cross the, the year out and then... You have the mint chocolate. I got mint chocolate, yeah. You got the cappuccino something? Uh-huh. And what else do you have? The Na- navy. Navy blue, yeah. <laughs> but we're sold out of A6s, so I can't fill it up. I can get a week, so we got a couple weeks left. Take one of Eric's. Grump is <laughs> He's got extra. <laughs> He's got extra. Uh, so yeah, I've got. I'm, I'm going to have one. I'm probably okay. going to get one. I think I want that weekly because I think. Uh, you want the it, weekly supplement. The weekly supplement. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a weekly supplement. It's a six size. Uh, we have and one or two left. So you better we're, hurry we're, up. We're, yeah, we got, well, okay. we've got several. All right. Um, so anyway. how many planners do you at home have? And if you have more than two, I personally am curious as to what are you going to do with three or more. Like two, I can understand work and I home. I can get two, yeah. No, you cannot have two. No, but I can understand two. You don't even use two. one. <laughs> you don't. All right. I'm moving along because yeah. I'm just getting beat up here. I uh, love you. Count, it's nice to be home. <laughs> uh, count only analog, not electronic, digital planners. Oh, so um, there's rules for It could contest. be actual planner type That's notebooks, tough. regular notebooks that you use as planners. See, there's an idea. Um, could be even set of index cards. Okay. Uh, and uh, next year, actually, I, I have my planner for 2024 picked <laughs> out. I do. I, ser- I seriously do. I know what I'm getting next year. What are you doing? Uh, it's something that we don't currently carry that oh. we will carry. Uh-huh. That's a whole bunch. I can't really say. <laughs> <laughs> well, another party you're from. I don't know how that happened. Um, um, anyway. What's it going to be? There's a, there, there is a Hobonichi planner um, that is called Day Free. And I think that, for me, might uh, might be a, an option. I think we're, we're going to carry that next year. Basically, what that is, is that allows you to, you know, if, if, if you don't write in, your, in your, your planner every day, you've got one page, you've got six empty pages. Why don't you just get a then you just write, white okay. term, some lines a day, and you just occasionally jump. But then those those have dates. So then you could have, if you don't write for six weeks, you've got six weeks of empty stuff. See so the day free, just you flip the page, put a new date on it, you write it. Next page. So for you, this could last like three years. It could last three years. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's perfect. So anyway, um, let us know in the comments. Um, and uh, one commenter chosen at random will uh, be picked to receive a $20 gift certificate uh, on your Anderson Penn's account. Okay. And we will announce that on our Should next... we have them list what they are? Don't just tell me yeah, it's yeah. two planners, but it's like one Loic term and one yeah. Hobo or one Weeks and one Cousin. Yeah, I mean, one... for most people, this shouldn't be a problem. If you've got five but planners, well, then I'm going to make you work problem. for it. Yeah, you <laughs> tell me what they are because I need to know. So, um, so you can get ideas? Well, I just want to know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if you're going to get five planners, I'd, I want to know. Please tell me curious what they are. Curious minds yes, want to yes. know. All right. So uh, is there anything else you got this week? Your first time on the podcast in a year and a half? I don't know what to do. I'm very nervous. Um, we, could, we could do that. Oh, the pen in your pocket? Well, that's usually done at the end. See, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going <laughs> to step right over I'm going to. I'm going to start this off. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens. <laughs> ink and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And we have a store in Chicago, and I am there 99% of the time, except when I'm here, Mm -hmm. uh, on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. And we are generally open seven days a week, except for occasional holidays. And that's uh, chicago.andersonpens.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, if you get to 20,000, Eric and I will do a duet. Uh, But... The pen in my pocket this week. Yes, is. And the reason we have it twice is so we don't forget it. Okay, because you've done that before. Oh, we have done that before. Uh, I have today, I have the Homo Sapiens uh, Crystal Dream. Awesome. Which is a lovely, lovely pen. Lovely. Lovely. It's lovely. It is lovely. It's delightful. It's handsome. It's handsome. It's masculine. Thanks for joining us. Funky.